Good morning, everybody. How are we? Right. Morning, Rachel. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Anna. Hello, Jenny. Hi, Alison. Um, can you just let me know if the music volume's okay? Can you hear it, or is it too loud? Bear in mind, I'm going to be stood back here. So just let me know if it's okay. Hi, Dad. Good, thanks. Yes, I am. Thank you, Rachel. Morning, Alison and everybody. Hi, Norma. Hi, Natalie. Have you ever got your water bottles? <coughs> Excuse me, or your weights? I've got like three lines up over there. Obviously, one is for drinking from. <laughs> Just fitted in the first session, ready for bath. <laughs> That's good. I did a tea 25 sessions this morning. Wow, myself. Is everybody fit, well, healthy, raring to go? Morning, Paula. Hi, Sarah. I will get back to these um, comments and messages afterwards. It's just if I start typing that screen, I'm probably going to offset it or something in my look. So yeah, make sure you've got your chair, your mat, your towel, whatever you're using. Morning, Libby. Oh, good news, it's okay. Thank you. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure you can all see me, yes. I'm in the picture, yes. Good. Oh, we've got some more people. Is it a bit loud? Mm. I think that a fraction. I will be speaking louder in a minute though. Hi Sue, round two. <laughs> round two is where you can join me this morning for that positivity. I've just tweaked it, I've turned it down a fraction. So hopefully that's better now, Rachel. Oh, that's good to know, Sue. All prepped, all prepared, ready to go. Right, just got one minute and then we will make a start. I think I'm through the right page on this. I think I'm through this little bit of page. Morning, Deb. <laughs> Hi, Natalie. Yeah, just be careful um, with your weight, just um, with injuries, just be careful. Hi, Jo. Great to have you. Hello, Hazel. Yay, you got the page. <laughs> Right, let's just give it one minute and we'll go. Hi, Kerry. <laughs> Hi again, yeah, I know. Honestly, though, from half eight till ten o'clock, don't you think it goes really quick? I do. And the sun's coming out now, yay! So, we'll just get the bar workout in and then you can go into the sunshine. Hello, Gail. Hi, Jane. And again. <laughs> Hi from Rufus. Oh, hi Rufus. You're going to join us as well. <laughs> Marilyn joining us. There's two dead. Is she joining in? Okay, we will go in a second. So final tap then, make sure you've got your weights, your water bottles, your tins if you want them. You can still work without. Um, hi Sandy, and you've got your chair, got your mat. Okay, so let's begin off of that chair. So you're just going to bring your feet into a fast position to begin. I'm hoping you can see my feet. Just let me know if you can't in that comment box. Okay, so from here, press your heels together. Turn up wider than you would for Pilates stance. And then as you do that, the heels are connected. Inner thighs, press to the knee line. Spiral out through the top line of the thigh bone. Slide the shoulders down. Now as you do that, can you keep the ribs connected over the pelvis? Keep pressing in with the heels, feel that connection. And then we're just going to warm up with those plies in fast position. We can add in the arm. Breathe in, breathe out. So nice and relaxed. 
nice and controlled. Inhale, exhale. So we've got a more of a conditioning focus today. So I thought the next four weeks, I'll, I'll segment this, we'll do more sculpt work, more strength um, focused stuff into the bar line. You're still going to get a cardio workout, eight, a little quicker. Eight, seven, six, five, and release. Step out into second, so find your turnout. So we'll start with the two twos, and this time let's change our arm line out to the side to second. So we'll go from here, that bra bar position. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, exhale. Now as you do this, just check your knees are rolling in, don't let this happen. Now are the shoulders staying down into their pockets? And we're going to do eight a little quicker. We go eight, seven, six, five, and release. Good. Okay, bring it back to centre. Let's go into parallel position now. So squat position here. We're going to go inhale, press arms back, exhale. Two. This one changes after four. One more. Now we go and then we raise onto the balls of the feet here. So we do a squat, we raise, breathe in, breathe out, inhale, exhale. So do it as two separate movements at the minute. And now we're going to make it more fluent. So we're going to go for eight, rise, seven, rise. Now check you're not pushing the hips forward. I don't want you to be into your lower back. And three, two, and one. That's one of those elevations that the body, mind, spirit there too. Okay, so from this position, let's keep that squat. Let's step out wide. Keep your feet now into just a parallel position here. And now we're going to sink down and lengthen. So we're going to take the arms above the head if you can. Just keep your feet facing me. So the forward. And we're going to go four, a little deeper at this pace. Three, two, one. And then we pick it up. We've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, breathe, and one. Excellent. Bring it back. Okay. From this position now, you're going to pick up your right leg. So single floats to begin. So we're going to breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, exhale. Opposite arm to leg. Now how still can you keep the pelvis when you float the leg? Shall we add movement? Come forward. So we're going to go four, three. If you haven't got room, just stay on the spot. That's fine. One, and then reverse. Four, three, two, one, let's do that again. Breathe in, two, three, four. Let the arms be long, lengthen the fingertips. Three, two, one, and center. Welcome for just joining us. Okay, now we're gonna change that to a crossover. So just on the spot a moment, bring your feet back into fast. Find that turnout, take your right leg. So over, together, over, together. Inhale, exhale. And then you can just add the arm, so you can take the arm with you. Same one as leg for this. Cross. Now start to treble it, so you're going to go right. I'll do opposite arm, two, three, four, and then take this leg, four, for three, two, one. And we go, four. So you can just keep your hands on your hips if you want to. Same leg, so focus on your turn out, four, Three, pelvis is square, no rock and roll in two, one. And return it back to centre, good. So from this position, just adapt it. So you're going to go back into the hip width. I'm just going to go side on so you can see this. Now we're going to sink down. And it's kind of like a pedal push. I would like you to float the right heel lower. But you're going to alternate here. It's like a little bounce in the movement. It's a little, a new move there. So baby bounce, 
change in legs. Okay, so here we go. Right, left. Now as you're doing this, watch your knees and pushing forward. I really want you to sit back so you're going to activate into that glute line as you go. Almost put the brakes on so you feel like you're doing a single leg squat. So we're so light with the heel of the foot that's been lifted on that leg. Now let's pick it up. We go four, three, and we've got another four. And release. Good. Back to centre. Okay, let's take it now into a roll down, into a walk out, into a plank position. So breathing in, and we exhale for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Walking out long into your plank position. Draw your shoulders back. You can lower to the knees here if you need. And then lift up to your tail, V position, walk your hands back. And we're going to roll to the top. Eight counts back up. Then you're going to pick up your right leg and lift. Take a twist. Centre. Change. So we've got flexion into rotation. We go again. If you want more, arms above the head. Inhale. Exhale. Nod the head. And we're going over that beach ball. Walking out. Hold the plank, stay there, then lift back up, feel the length through your back line, hamstrings, yeah, back of those thighs, into the muscles in the back, and roll, bring your arms with you. Now if they weren't with you, that's fine, just raise them here, now you're going to do a lat pull down action with your right leg lift, so it's a rotation lat pull down, twist, let's do another two on each side. Centre, we go again, breathe in, breathe out, roll, and walk out, little bit of weight there in here, lower to the knees if you need, watch you're not collapsing, let me go side arm into your lower back, so don't want to see this, lift up, close the rib cage, and then lift and lengthen, back you go, now no rocking here, keep this still, Got a chair there. <laughs> That's going to prove difficult. <laughs> Let me move forward. Oh, it's getting used to the uh, house dimensions, isn't it? Spatial awareness, probably not the best. <laughs> Roll back up to the top. Now, right leg, we go. Pull down. We're doubling up here. So we've got four each side this time. Breathe in. Twist. Pull down and turn. Centre, open out, good. Okay, now take your feet out into second position this time. Sink down, bring your hands into the small of the back or you can lengthen them away. So sink and then reach. Feel that stretch. Release, lengthen your spine forward now. So you're going to go flat back. So you want to push the bottom away, press your palms away. Stay with the bent leg. Then open, bring your hands back to the small of the back. I'm just going to change your intention of your pelvis here. Drop the tailbone, so that's quite nice. That um, pelvic girdle. Draw your elbows together or interlace and reach. Now lengthen, press away. That's it, good. And your palms come here and you lengthen the spine. Now if you want more, keep your arms interlaced as they come above the head now. That's it, drop the shoulders. Good, now extend, feel that work here, or you can return it to this position, one more, now can you go from here, lengthen, spine long remember, nothing in your back, hands removed to lower back now, or stay there, come back, and extend, drop your tails everyone, tuck under if anything, because I don't want your back doing this, I want to drop, we just hold that a little longer, and then release. Come back up to centre. How does that feel? I should feel more freely movable now. <laughs> so, <laughs> warm through the muscles. Yeah, heart rate's got up a little bit. Now grab that dream. Okay. And then you're going to grab 
your chair. Put your chair on your left side. <laughs> yes, I'll get this right. Okay, so from here, we move that spine, move those hips. Let's go, first position, turn out. We're gonna go into a plie with a side bend. Okay, so here we go. Breathe in, breathe out. Two, nice, three. Now watch your arms and drop back down. What's this shoulder doing? I don't want to see this because you're pushing down into the chair excessively. Four, three, two, one. Now you're going to add in a demi um, point as you go. So as you reach, we lift up, plie. So we're here. So get ready to join me. Here we go. Plie, raise for one. Two. Now I would like control. Can you not throw the arm over? Resist the arm line. So it's from here you want the bend. Six. Now check as well with the foot line. You're not rolling to the outer edge of the feet. Now we're going to go double time. We go eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, and one. Bring it back to centre. Good. Okay. From here, we are going out into second position. So from this um, this stance, you're going to bring your arm in front of the body. So we're going to open out to the side here. So we're going to go eight, seven. Six. I'm trying to bring in the arm lines that we're going to use legs with those weights. Five, four, three. Now feel your blade. Two against the back of your spine. One. Now come down, open and hold. Raise your outside heel. Can I bring your arm back in front? So from here, keep that heel lifted. We're going to go out and raise. Out and in. So you're staying raised on that heel. Two, turn out, three. Can we feel this work? Powerful and in the thigh line. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Hold, this is a challenge. Lift your other foot off the floor. Stay there. Now, if you wanted to, you could just do the other leg here on a single instead. Otherwise, we're doing both. Because when we do the other side, we'll get to that one. Now, I know I'm talking, but you can hold this. Hold, hold, hold. Isometric contraction. Lift up onto the balls of the feet. Sink a little lower. Arm line. Just the arm line. Eight. Seven. Take your head. Look at your fingertips. Six. Five. Keep your torso facing me, though. Four. Three. Don't worry where. Two. One, arm in line, now we pulse, baby pulses, small, five and four, hold on, three, two, one, and lift, excellent, so from here, return your feet now into a first position, so from here, we're going to start to take it into your tondu. So your outside leg turns out, knees cut to side and back in. So it's as if you're trying to get onto the big toe line, but in turn out. So imagine your inner thigh is going to be at the front of your thigh. Four, arm line. Last four, three, two, one. Now add in with this um, supporting leg, having a bend there. Do you see that? Eight, seven. Now do not let this knee roll out over the toes. This is where you need that pelvic stability here. So the turnout is from your hip joint, not crashing through the pelvic line. You must have another three to make your eight. Two, one. Now, we're going to do tondu 
into a releve here. So we're going to be going out, back in, and lift. So we go out, you can slide it back in, and then it goes up as you lift. Okay, so here we go. Hand onto the um, chair, spread out the fingertips, realign the body. So we'll go bend first and then lift. So together. So bend and lift and together. Bend, lift and together. So we'll come back on a straight leg. Bend, raise, together. Bend, raise, together. Make sure you're feeling this work. There is an advancement to this, but we'll just stay with this option for today. We go. Four. Stay turned out. Three. This glute should be working. You should be feeling it there. Two. And one. Nice. Okay. Now, take this um, outside leg. You're going to go into your delapente here to unfold. So take the foot just below the knee, so into the calf, and you're going to go out and in. <coughs> Excuse me. Two, three, four. Now, if you want the arm, we go. Two. Check you're not leaning here. Four. <coughs> now, as you go out with the leg, I want you to see if you can add on a raise here. <coughs> Excuse me. My throat. So, you're going to combine those moves together. <coughs> so, from this position, you could lose the arm if you wanted to. So, as you go up, you lengthen and then we land, but this leg stays straight. So, we're here. Two, can we feel that right into the inner thigh? Three. This left can be able to turn out still. Four. And remember, arm if you want it. Four. You don't have to. Three. Two. This is tough. One. And release. Well done. Can we feel that work? Okay, so we've got a quite a bit of single leg work in the strength phase before we start getting into the weights line. So from here, you're now going to take it out and hold, and we're going to do our little circle. So we're going to go out, circle back, and in. Out, circle one, and in. Out, circling back, and in. Circle back on a straight leg. This is challenging. Small. And this working leg, I know that is where you're going to be feeling it. Circle. Touch. Circle. One more. Now stay with this. You're now going to take it away. Little circle here, then touch. Away. Circle. Two. Three. Tap. Circle, two, three, tap. So you're initiating it from the thigh bone. One, two, three. Obviously the lower leg is gonna to come to play. So circle, two, three. Are you pressing into the arch of the supporting foot? We've got four of these. Out. One more set. And release. Well done. That should have had a deep stretch there. <laughs> A deep work, sorry, on that inner thigh line. Okay, so from this position, we're going to take a stretch. So you're going to straighten your left leg. This is your option. Turn out this leg, so you've got a deep stretch here. So feel that line. If you want more, depending on the height of your chair, you're going to place your foot on the chair, but you are going to be facing me because it's your inner thigh. I don't want you turn it into it for a hamstring stretch. Or put your, if the back's too high on your chair, Turn your chair so you're on the lower part. Then we aim to square the pelvis, have your foot square, turn the thigh bone back, and then we're going to reach up and over into that. So you get a deep stretch in a thigh line. Now let's do this in movement. So we're going to breathe in and over. So we inhale, 
exhale, breathe in, breathe out, watch you notice doing that with the arm, three, and four, now take both arms if you want to, four, three, two, last time, and bring it back to centre, and open, Good, okay, so take that foot off the chair, take a little shake out. Now, we're going to reverse sides for our strength. So you can come this way, we'll do a stretch on this leg when you work this leg, so hang on. <laughs> now we're going to start with these exercises, the plie ones, at second position this time rather than first position. Okay, so turn out here, so go out into that second. Make sure you've gone wide enough, set the chair, drop the shoulder, square the pelvis, spiral out from your thigh bones, and then we go. Inhale, exhale, for two, four, five, six, seven, eight, now, come up as you um, go. So when you go over, you're going to add in. You're going to lift and lengthen. So we go down, two. So it's a wide position on demi, demi point. Three, four, five, six. Straighten those knees at the top, turn out and release, good, okay, from here, stay in your second position, bring your arm in front, okay, now from here, you're going to lift your outside leg and we're going to work, okay, so you all started with an outside leg anyway, so we're going eight, seven, so we don't fully really straighten, six, stay turned out, five, this knee just has a slight bend. Four, three, two, one. Now down and hold. Now you're gonna to to take the other leg away if you want challenge. Now we're gonna go out with the arm, lift. Otherwise, you're just doing this leg. That was your option, yes, to stay on a single leg if you didn't wanna do two, okay? Turn out. Now it shouldn't be in your knee joint. If it is, you're going too low. See how long you can make your spine. Do another two. Hold it when you come back. Now go work through those shakes. Lift up more into the balls of the feet. Hold. Now we're going to pulse. Eight. Seven. Stay with it. Six. Come on. Straighten up. Four. Make sure you're not leaning. Three. Two. One, down and release. Excellent work, everyone. Have a shake out. Okay, bring your feet back into first position. So we're going to go into our tondu. So from here, your outside leg is that position. So you might be comfortable. This leg is staying straight, remember. Your supporting leg is straight to begin. Still on a turnout. You might feel comfortable just to bring your arms straight into this. We've done time to do this for quite a few weeks. So we're going to breathe in and out. Two. Now really focus on the turnout here. That's what I want you to try and achieve. It's more than taking your leg out in front of your body. Six. And then we add in the bend of the supporting leg. So we go eight. Seven, six, stay turned out, four, three, two, and one. So it's in the glute, remember, not the knee. And then we're going to combine it into a releve. So we'll go tondu, and then the leg will float away, and straight leg down for today. So tondu, and lift. How is it on this side compared to the other one? Three. So we've got quite a lot of isolation work today on the strength side of things. 
we've got another four. Now look after this knee on the supporting side. Don't push it over. Smooth. Last two. Straight leg land. Can you go to a row taller? One more. Nice work, everyone. Okay, now we're going to take it out into that delapé. So from here, bring the big toe to the inside of your calf, just below the knee, and we'll go eight, seven, six. Now watch this pelvis isn't turning in. Arm line, four, three, Two, one. Now delicate with a bend. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And release it there. Well done. How did that feel? Good. Feel that work in the isoglute in the thigh. Now you're going to take the leg out to the side and we do small circle back. So you can bring your arm in front. So we're going to go circle, two, three, and in. So circle, two, three, and in. Drop the thigh bone. So you could keep your hand on your hip if you want it manually encourage that turn out. So look, the only small move, I know it might feel or look like you're doing, well, it doesn't feel, but it might look like from here is nothing. But if you've got the technique correct, you'll be feeling it. This leg you're stood on will be burning into the glute. That's the idea because you're not using your back, using the deep lines. One more. So you've got small circles. Now, you take it out on a bent leg. Three, two, three. One, tap, we've got four sets on this one. So three, two, one, tap. Three, two, one, tap. Breathe. Last one. Oh, and bring it in and down. Have a little breather. How does that feel? Strong. Okay, so you're gonna take an inner thigh stretch now to this side. So place your foot, either turn your chair around, where you can stay here. So you can still take your arm, and in a minute when we do movement, you'll still do that, or you'll do it with two arms. Okay, so when you're ready, place that other foot up on the chair. You can also turn the chair around. Turn the knee to face the back wall. That's it. And then lengthen. So we're gonna hold that stretch just to get into place. So try and open through the pelvic girdle there, open through the lines. And then, turn this palm up, breathe in, breathe out, inhale, exhale, two more like that, breathe in, breathe out, and then we're going to add in a double arm, lengthen, and you can point the foot on the chair, on the chair's not going anywhere, but you might need to keep it flexed, I need to keep mine flexed, I know the chair's going to fly otherwise. And one more. And back to centre. Good. Okay, release. Little shake out. Okay, let's go back to the first side. So take a drink now. And whilst you're there, grab um, one of your weights, whatever it is you're using. So you're going to turn out and you're going to have um, an overhand grip uh, of the of the weight. Okay, so you're going this way to start. So from here, turn it out, making sure you set that um, chair so your shoulders not up here. Drop down. Oh yeah, the music's on um, 40 minutes, I thought. So from here, 
press down into the mind of the big toes. Let me just restart that. So as you've done that, feel that you're drawing your heel bones in towards each other. So you're connecting through that thigh line. Okay. Now you're going to raise the arm in front of the body as we go into that plie position. The arm's going to come out to the side. So this is where we're going with the arm. Inhale, exhale. So just make sure your wrist, as you can see, is not doing that as you do this. So, one, two. Keep the weight level, three. Working those arms, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we're gonna pick up the pace, we go. Eight, control the weight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it back. Okay, release down. From here, you're going to come back into a parallel position. Now, you're going to bring the arm on the chair, if you can. Now, if your chair's going to move, obviously, then don't that. It's going to be dangerous. So, the only advantage to doing this, if you do start to slump and the chair does move, then you know you're pushing and you're not stabilising, but obviously I don't want to have an accident. So, rest the forearm on the chair. Now, the leg line, let me just show you in a minute. Let's go to that. Your knee is to your knee. I'm going to go side down so you can see this. Okay, now it's back. Can you see my foot is flat? My, my toes are pulled down to my heel and you're going back. Now when you open that, look, can you see, I'm not going straight back, I've turned my leg out. So see how my knees are together, I've done that, and I'm holding that position as I go back. But what I don't want to see is your knee coming forward, so even if you were to just face me now and do that action, that's real strong in that glute maximus right at the back line. So from here, knee to knee to start, and almost do like a little kick out, like just kicking off those heels, just off those shoes, turn out, there, pull your heel in, and you're going back here. Now that is real deep. Then, if you want it with the weight behind, with the weight, your arm just going back, triceps. Now you can do a bend and straight, or you can just keep it straight. Okay, here we go. Supporting leg um, is straight. Have a little um, connection here, and then we go. Two. If this um, wasn't comfy, you could do it facing the bar. Three, four. Now, I don't want it into your lower back five. The more work you want, go further away from the bar. Seven, hold on. Eight, we're doing 12. Nine, 10, 11. Back and hold, take your arm back. We're gonna pulse, pulse. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and release. Good work. Okay, now we're going to change the um, leg line. So you're going to be back here again, further away from the bar. You have to work more. The closer you are, the more support you're having. That's fine. It's not good on shoulders. Adapt it. Probably face the bar and go that way instead. Okay. Now this time, your leg line, it's worth getting these setups right before you get into it. And you get a recovery. How nice is that? <laughs> so you're going to take knee to knee. So you're going out on the side line. Now what you don't want to do is do this and go to your back. So drop your tailbone and we are there. It's controlled. Okay. So <laughs> this time, your action, you're going to do a bicep curl as you go. Okay. Are we ready? So, straighten the supporting leg, come away to where you want to go. We go. Eight. Seven. We work. So we've got 12. I don't know why I'm counting for me, but that's a habit. Out of glutes now, medius and minimus. Four. Three. Where can you take that leg without hitching up here? Two. You've still got another four. And can you feel that supporting leg? Yes. Three. Come on. 
stay with it. Two, up and hold with the arm to keep the arm still now. Pulse. Two, three, straighten this leg. Four, five, six. Hold on, I don't want to see this lower leg drooping. Four, three, two, one. Excellent, release down, shake out. We'll have a glute stretch in a minute. Okay, your next one. This leg is going to come out to the side on a circle. So this time, you're going to take the weight out and that is where you're going to go with the weight. Now, if you found it was too much, don't do it with um, a weight in your hand. That's okay. You can just do it like this. Okay, that's fine as well. Now the leg line is going to be from here, lift it as hard as you can and we're going to circle it back for six and we're going to circle it forward for six, okay? So it's a higher line than to what you did um, via the delicates and those jam ones earlier, okay? So lengthen away. Now you've got to have a connection here. So lifting the side of your waistline, lengthen, now circle the arm and circle the leg. Five, four, three, two, one. Change direction and with the arms. Six. What is that leg doing? It should not be dropping. Five, four, three, two, one. And down. That's tough. Well done. Okay, so the last one we're going to do on this side, you're going to do your front one here. So you can have a hand resting if you prefer. For this one, I would change it. And that is where we're going to go. So we turn out. Make sure you're not going to kick the pets. I know some of you kick the pets <laughs> over the coming weeks. And from here, we're going to do a shoulder press. Okay, actually, sorry, we have got one more exercise after this one. So, <laughs> on this side, then we'll have a stretch. So this is the action, a little shoulder press. And don't let your elbow drop. So we'll start here. And you can have your elbow slightly out, not all the way back out to the side, because that will be forcing the shoulder out of alignment. Okay, so start in a fast position, and we straighten the leg and press the arm. We're going 12, 11, there's no pulses on this, so good news, 8, 7, 6, hold on, 5, can you turn that leg out? And one, good work. Now your last one here is curtsy, but see the, let me show you that way. The arm line now, this works deep into those rotator cuff muscles. So you've got four that stabilize the top of your arm bone, the head of that cube, down into the shoulder girdle and the pocket of the shoulder blade. So from here, it's that action you're going to open. So it's kind of like um, from Pilates, that dumb waiter exercise. So your blade wants to stay here. I don't want to see you tearing round with the chest line or the um, pelvis, so it stays here, as close to the spine. So you're only going to take your arm snug to the side, don't let it come away. So from there, we're going to go second position to start. This is where you're going to go with the arm, okay? So keep it out to start, and then you take your outside leg, cross, open for two, we'll do four like this, then I want you to add in a little kick, okay, so for eight, kick, seven, don't let your arm fly though, yeah, does that feel strong on the back of the blade, yes, last two, and one, good work, okay, now we need to stretch that leg that we've been um, supporting ourselves on. So let's turn to face our chair. So mine's my right leg, so yours should be your left. Take the foot across, flex it. Now sink into your position. And when you've got that, let me come up as you can see, you just stay where you are. We're going to do that on a raise and a lower. So we're going to sink and lift. Make it movement orientated today too. And inhale, exhale for four, five, six, breathe. Let's do another eight, six. So watch 
watch your knee when you bend is not going forward, okay? Your baby sit back. Watch you're not clapped in at the waist. Two and one. Good, shake it out. Okay, have a little drink. Chair on the opposite side. So the intensity is different today, isn't it? Slightly different focus. Yes, you've done that aerobic work in your warm up and that, you know, cardio, heart and lungs in the first section of your bar, but it is different today, different focus. So let's start out in second position. Go out wide and then from here, just rest the hand. So you've got this action to begin. So from here, we're going to bend and we go out. In level. Can we feel that shoulder work? Six, come on, five, four, three, two, and one. And release down, good. Okay, now you're gonna come back to that position where feet are parallel, knee to knee, you pull the, toe, the toes down to the shin, there's a little baby turn out of the, of the foot, like a little kick out there, but keep your knees together if you like, as you kick out there, then that's your angle set, so it's not here, you can almost see the foot turning out from the midline of the body, and then the supporting leg is straight, and we're here, and back, don't want to see this, drop your tail, so it's the ability to open your hip to get that. Now, if you want your arm on, you can do it without. It's just there. Press, press, press. Okay, now you've got 12, remember, with a pulse. And you may do it this way if you want that increased work. And again, more increased work, step further away from the bar. So knee to knee. Watch, we're not collapsing here. Pull the toes to the shin. Baby turn out. And the arm's going behind you as is the leg, I'm just going to forward a bit to make it the wall, <laughs> and then up we go, eight, sorry, 12, 10, don't let the arm come all the way in, just like your leg, your knee isn't doing this, now for eight, seven, six, challenge it, take that chair away if you want more, five, four, three, Two, hold and pulse, pulse. Keep it pulsing. Stay with it. Now you should be feeling this into the abdominal line as well. And we go for the last four, three, two, one, and rest. Don't know what's going on with that music. I'm leaving it more in this <laughs> this flow. Okay, now from here, you're going to take your leg out to the side. So you've got side line movement here. So from that position, your leg's gonna go out to the side and back in here. So we can do a bicep curl with that leg line, okay? So knee to knee for this one. Get back into position on your chair, we go. And if you're not feeling it, just move that chair out. I don't see this with the body. Fun. Eight, seven, hold on, six. So fingertips are aiming towards shoulder on that curl. For three, keep the length throughout the crown of the head. Two, and hold in the bicep curl, flex the foot. Now can you lift your knee a little bit more? Lift it now with the hip and pulse. Now last eight, seven, six. Five, come on, four, stay with it, and down. Excellent work. Take a shake out, how are we doing? <laughs> now, from here, you're gonna do a straight leg out to the side, and that's where you've got your arm circles. So, from this position, you can stay here for this one. Lengthen the leg, lengthen the arm, set the chair, and then we're gonna circle. Six, five, four. Now you should be between panes of glass here. I don't want to see this. This is still as you isolate. So the limb, upper limb, 
lower limb on the one side of working. Change, six, five, hold on, four. What's this rib cage doing? It shouldn't be rotating. Three, two, one. The only other rotation is in the arm line and the leg. Good. Okay, now you've got your back on with shoulder press before we finish on curtsy and kick. Okay, are you ready? So first position, your hand position changes now, back to this one. And remember, it's a little press, don't let the arm drop. We've got 12, but no pulses. Lengthen, one, two, three. Breathe in, breathe out. Can you turn your kneecap out? Control. Last few reps, come on, push through now. And one, and release, okay. Change it so this is your arm line, is opening out to the side and back in. So from here, go into a second position, or do the first four without the kick so it matches the other side. Okay, so from here, in, don't let your shoulder round, and out. Four, two, curtsy. Three, you might need to just adjust your chair for this. Four, now take the kick and lengthen. And the elbow shouldn't have come away from the waist as mine did there, so keep it in. There we go. And we've got four, three, two, one more, and rest. Excellent, okay. Lose that water bottle, come to face your chair. So bring, bringing these stretches in today, so your supporting leg, right, stretch the wrong leg, so it'll be your right leg, you're gonna cross it over and sink down. Okay, so stay there. So breathe in, breathe out as you melt down. Let me just change my chair so you can see that line. So sinking down into that position. Now the spine's not going to be completely, our spine isn't straight anyway, but try not to tip forward, that's what I mean about lengthening the spine. Ground through your underneath foot, sink, and then straighten, and release, two, and three, good. Four, five, breathe, six, seven, So we've really worked into the glute maximus at the back today and at the sides and you work that inner thigh line hard too. Okay, from here, just release. Okay, now we're going to start to change this slightly. Just move your chair out of the way. Now this is why I said bring two bottles, okay, because you might want two sets of weights now. If you don't, that's okay. Just you're going to have to change it halfway so it's even on the exercise or just don't do them. Weights at all, you can still do the arm line. Now we haven't really done any single leg work. Alternatively, if you still need to balance, do this lunge with your right foot in front, your left foot behind, and you can do a bicep curl, on a, uh, sorry, a tricep kick back on a bent leg with the one support, if that's your balance. Otherwise, you're gonna pick up, and I mean you could do that, off the chair, so that's your first option. One hand for balance, so you just use one weight, that's not a problem, because you'll change in a minute. Or you're coming to face centre, no chair, right leg in front, let me just do this side arm, step back, so you've got that 90-90, okay? Sink, you can just do this with one weight if you wanted to, or we're gonna do two, so you're gonna do a tricep, kick back there, so your elbows into the side of the waist, and here, watch you don't fly the elbows away. So we're gonna do six, like so. Are we ready? Arms bent, start down there, and then straighten, one, breathe. So we're gonna inhale, exhale, press. Now watch your um, arm line, if you're not feeling it, you're not doing that with the elbows. So you've gotta straighten it when you go back. One more like this. Now hold, if you want more challenge, lift your front leg. Okay, now pause here, wait, turn, shoulder press, balance, double, 
two, three, hold it together. So we're bringing what we've just done at the bar with a double focus now. Five and six. Okay, change it to bicep curl, but you're gonna keep your front foot lifted if you can for the challenge. Obviously put it down if you prefer, and we're gonna go here. So we're gonna go now, six from here. Five, look at that front heel, it should not be lowering. Four, hold on, three, Come on, two and one. So this is working the core, even though we're not doing a floor exercise, I say to speak. Shake it out, change in sides. Okay, opposite leg, left foot in front, right foot back. Lift the back heel, sink down. Okay, so we're gonna start with tricep kickbacks, okay? So here we go. If you're at the bar still, you just put the water bottle in the opposite hand. You're using balance. Hold on. Stay with it. Can we feel this? Yes. And rest. Now lift your front heel. Turn. Wait there. We're gonna go. Doubles. Six. Five. Stay with it. Four, three, two, one. Now change it to bicep curl. Keep your heel lifted. So remember, from this position, that is where you're going. So now we're going to start six, five, four, breathe, three. Come on, you've got this. Stay on it. Two, dig a little deeper. One, and step it in. Excellent, shake it out. Right, placing down there. We're gonna have a little stretch. So we're starting to build in the stretch work. Take hold, press your foot back into your hand. If you want more stretch, take the leg out to the side and then take it back. So you can have a little, well not a lean, but use the bar. Turn the body. Keep this hip and knee facing forward as you open the hip line. So that will really get into those four quad muscles. And release. Change in sides. Excellent. So we've built it in our stretches today as we've gone along. Lift and away you go. But we're not quite finished. <laughs> Stop yet. Open. Okay. Hold that stretch. I am determined to keep this to 60 minutes today. I know I didn't start till 10.01, so I'm going to do it off my phone because it's more digital than that clock. <laughs> Just keep turning, keep turning. Open the line. Or you can stay here. And release. Shake it out. Okay. Now, from here. Just move your chairs out the way. Bring your mats into play. Have a drink as well en route. Now you could, if you, I said bring your chair out the way, bring it to the edge of the mat. Right, because we've got six minutes, I want to get this working. Okay, so you can choose now. I'd have, if the water bottle allows, you'll see what I mean. And depending on what you're wearing, it might slip, so just see how this goes. You can come into this position and flex the foot and we're gonna lift and we're gonna lower. So this is great in terms of it takes the um, emphasis off too much shoulder and stability, you're more supported. Now, see what it's like with your water bottle. You're gonna see if you can place it into the back of the leg. Now it's gonna look different. If you've got a weight, it should, it'll probably fit quite nicely. Flex the foot, now square the pelvis. Just make, you can place yours underneath your right leg. I'm just gonna do my outside one so you can see. So arm to arm, rather than having them stacked today, you can just bring one in front of the other, draw your blades back, make sure this other knee is underneath your hip. Square the pelvis, don't want to see this in your back, so lengthen your tailbone, but keep this lengthened here as you raise the leg, do you see that? So you've not done this as you lifted the leg. So you only lift the leg to the height that your back doesn't become compromised, that's really important. Okay, 
Now, we're going to lift and lower. Two. Now, you'll start to feel the hamstring a little bit more here. Three. We go. Four. Because that's why I want to do this one. Not just the glute. For six. Hold on. Breathe in. Breathe out. Notice the difference with the weight, especially after you've done all that other work. And the next time you come up to the top, hold. Now, drop the tail. Pulse. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And release down. Good. Change sides. So just place that bottle. It's probably not going to align straight. And unless you've got a weight, it's not going to be as symmetrical. But we're just improvising here. We're going with what we can do, what we've got. Okay. <laughs> come on to the forearms. Now, reset, pad up this member underneath leg if you need knee support. We're going to flex and we're going to go eight, seven, six. Pull your toes down to the shins. Now, this doesn't open, this stays square. And by having that water bottle, you, it forces you in a way to contract the whole back line because if you don't um, keep the connection, you'll drop the weight. Just don't drop it on your foot. Three, two, hold and pulse. Eight, seven, six, five. All this standing which use your core, remember? So you don't always need to do isolation exercises. And release, good. Let's stretch that out. Legs out in front of you. It's just your time check. Three minutes is fine. Point the toes, lengthen. Feel that deep stretch. If you wanted more, you can stick your feet up on your chair. And then, draw yourself in, or you can use the chair, pull yourself into the chair there, so you feel a deep stretch. And you can point the toes, or whatever. You can flex them if you want more of um, a lower leg stretch, or whatever feels good for you. Breathe in. Now straighten up everyone, let's not round the spine and now draw in. So I don't need to do this this time, I want you to lengthen. So even if you're here and you've been forward into that fold, just come up now, long spine. And release, okay. Come over onto your front. Now I want to get in some of that abdominal work. Let's do our side twist, okay. Twist but from a plank position. So you're going to come onto your forearms. Now you can do this with the knees underneath the hips, feet together. So that's where you're going. Now look, if you're doing it on your knees, you're not just rolling off on your kneecap or pushing your hip to the side. It's a resisted twist there, not banging down to the floor. Okay, otherwise, so don't get into position yet. Just make sure you can see where you're going to go. You're here and you do have to turn to the outer edge of the foot. So we are there. We're also going to hold today and we are going to do pulses. Now don't see this in a drop. It's so tiny. Right? So, are you with me on this? We are nearly there. Stay on it everyone. You're doing really well. Step back right leg. Step back left leg. Where are your elbows? They need to be aligned with your shoulders. Okay. Press into the palm of the hand. You need to ground that line. Drop the tail. Now we go, turn to the right. Now can you check that your shoulders aren't going with you? I mean, the head can stay neutral or it could turn, but don't overturn it to the other palm, okay, as you do this. Uh, not down here, lift. Don't rush, turn two, center two. Turn two, center two. Turn two, hold. We're gonna lift here. Pulse, the two. Three. Oh, it's so small. Four, come on. Five. Yes, you're doing eight. Seven, eight. Last set. Turn, turn, turn. Don't drop the hip. And eight. What is going on with those shoulders? Do not let them collapse. You've got to have a good connection with the shoulders because that will affect what's going on with your back. Four, three, two, one. Center. Oh, and release. Excellent. Did you feel that? <laughs> Shake out. Right. Come onto your back. That's a nice little bit of weight bearing there. Lengthen your legs. We didn't have time. It's fine. We'll get this one in. <laughs> so from here, hands behind the head. 
thumbs down the side of the neck. Now this is your option. Bend and straighten. Bend and straighten. Or we go straight to straight. You choose. Let's go. Pick up your option. Exhale up. So the head, the neck, the shoulders without rounding the spine. And your elbows just pick up the body like those little butterfly wings. So you're not um, wrenching your elbows round here. Your head sits back into that little cradle that you make for it. So the thumbs are down the side of the neck. Right, now you're going to come single time. We go. Eight, seven, so bring back down to the floor. Six, keep your head back. Five, four, feel the burn. Three, two, one. Right leg, hold. Now we pulse. Now move the leg and the upper body for increased work, or you can keep the leg still. But you might be here, remember, on that option, doing that. Come on, four, three, two, one. Stay, release, last time, other side, we go. Exhale, hold, and pulse. Two, drop the side bone in the hip pocket. Get the back of your pelvis on that floor, it should be tipping. Four, three, two, one. And rest. Excellent. Take a full body stretch. Come off that chair. That's fine. <laughs> Release. Bring your hands out to the side of the body. Walk your feet back. Now take your legs to your right. Let's just have a little stretch off. And if you want more, just pick up your top leg. Take it across there so you feel that increased stretch. If it's not on your spine, you get it more in the glute. Just draw yourself back a little bit and keep your feet stacked because you've already done a glute step. I don't want this on the glutes. I want it in the spinal column. And center. Let's change sides. So roll to your left. This leg can stay where it is, take the hand and press, or you can come here. Drop the back shoulder, and you're looking down your back arm. I'm just coming this way because I'm talking to you. So you could even keep the head in neutral. Feel that stretch. And then release, back to centre. Just take hold of the feet, roll up, be careful where you're going to roll. And feet to the side. Tuck the toes, roll back up. I'm looking good on the time and I've only gone over my three minutes today. <laughs> Turn out, breathe in, breathe out. Now you should be really pleased with yourself today. Not each and every week when we do this, but we've stepped it up in a different way today. One more, and I'm going to choreograph some new exercises and moves for next week. And we might even start with the weights, with our um, cardio, more cardio orientated. So maybe have some lighter ones as well. And we have finished, so fantastic work everybody. I hope you have a superb Saturday, whatever it is you're doing. The sun's coming out now. So yeah, let me know your feedback, let me know what you thought about the weights, and um, if you like that little variation, um, and yeah, just let me know. So thank you everyone for attending. Are we all shattered? No one's, <laughs> no one's got the energy to type back to me. <laughs> I'll pick it up in a minute when you've um, recovered, shall I? <gasps> oh, right, I'll end this. Oh, thank you, Paula. <laughs> We'll be back next week. Don't forget, um, everyone, to sign up for my um, Zoom uh, Pilates uh, Masterclass next Wednesday. It's an intervals one, so just drop me an email and I'll send you the link. Thanks, Gail. You're off for a light down in the sun. Thanks, Rian. Oh, you hate the word pulse. <laughs> oh, you like the way it's done. Thank you, Anna. Oh, that's great, Natalie. Oh, thank you, Alison. You have a nice weekend too. Yeah, so fabulous to see you all. Uh, thanks for having banished my big goings. <laughs> oh, I'm sure you haven't got any, but we'll just hone the area more. Thank you, Rachel. Pot, uh, totally pooped. Oh, but fabulous. Thank you. Have a lovely sunny weekend. And you, Lisa. I thought you were going to say you popped out for a while and had a little break there. And I was like, oh, thank you, Sandy. Sorry, sometimes I go quick and I can't see them all. Right, I will see you soon. Bye everyone.